The three missing hybrids are back along with a new cannon hybrid and with some bioluminescent skins that will surely light up your future parks. Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Jurassic World Evolution 2 where we are going to take a look at the latest pack in Evolution 2's roster, that being the Secret Species Pack, featuring the Ankylodocus, the Stegoceratops, the Spinoraptor, and the Spinoceratops along with some new upgrades for our two oldest hybrids, and we're going to begin with the only hybrid not to be made by Dr. Wu, but by Manticore themselves. Alrighty, and now let's go. Okay, we're being interrupted by Giga. And for the first species, guys, we're going to start off strong with probably the second most anticipated. I say second because while it is a canonical dinosaur, it might not be number one. But let's get on with the Spinoceratops. Ooh, looks like we've got one of the Camp Cretaceous ones. Okay, I did set it to run. Oh, he nudged him. <laughs> okay, he is loud. Oh, oh, okay, so I think I got two of the same, but, okay, we'll, we're gonna, oh, wait, hold on. Something a little different, a Spinoceratops. Here we have a hybrid that's more than happy living in colder climates, but, uh, I'm still counting on you to give it a warm welcome, huh? <laughs> Okay, so nice reference to Camp Cretaceous as it's endothermic and such. And gotta say, not bad looking as an adult. It's pretty similar to the one from Jurassic World Alive, I believe it is, because I think that's the only time we've actually seen it. Ooh, we're gonna get the social animation already very quickly. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, let's... Okay. Oh, he's got him up! Oh god, okay, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's cute, but also very dangerous at the same time, because... Um, can't he, you know... That would have impaled him and such. But who knows, maybe we could see that come into effect with uh, it against carnivores. Which, let's see, this one I think is Angel, and then we got a Svalbard Lithobates. Okay, so we got two angels out. And I gotta say, even though it, it literally looks like it is a Sinoceratops with a sp Spinos sail, which I like the little spikes that are coming out of it. It's very nice, actually. I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with it. Thanks for a marvelous item. The head and body are recognizable as belonging to the Sinoceratops, while its back is lined with the sail of a Spinosaurus. Well, that's very helpful to inform us. Thank you. All right, he's looking for food. We might get to see. Let's get into capture mode and wait down here. So let's see. How does the Sinoceratops eat? Okay, dipping the head in. Nice. <laughs> he's just so gently, just like, nip. <laughs> All the Spinosaurids are like, chomp. Him just like, I'm just gonna duck my head in. Okay, it doesn't look like there was any animation with the facility itself, or the rig itself. Sometimes you get them, like, grabbing onto it or something. Or maybe we just need to wait for the others or something. Because I know they'll have, like, a double animation or something, but maybe we'll see it then. And then after this, we'll release some species that should be interesting, because apparently they're... Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, he's doing the dip. Is the other one coming back? Yep, a nice scoop. Oh, you look so cute, though. Oh, and he's backing up. Okay, he's good. He's satisfied. We're gonna move on to the next part of the Spinoceratops. We got another batch to come out, so let's just um, get them out here. Oh, there you go. Oh, looks like we got Rebel out here as well. Let's see, is that Rebel? Yes, it is. So we got both. So Rebel and we got 
the Lux ones, which, yes, that'll be nice. An Angel, which is nice, much like we got with the um, ones in Camp Cretaceous with the Scorpius Rex. We got both Camp Cretaceous variants of the Spinoceratops. That is nice. Now, hopefully we can see them group eat as there's more. Don't forget this guy. He's like, wait for me, guys. I just wanted to explore. All right. Uh, she's like, no, no, no. Where are you going? Oi. Ugh, fine. Just stay there. And we're going to change this to night. Oh, wait. That's dust. There we go. And boom. Boom. As you can see, the first of many Lux editions is the Sinoceratops Lux skin, which looks absolutely cool. The sail is completely bioluminescent, and the frill is not bad as well. It's got a nice white pink to it as well, and a bit of blue on the sail as well. And since it's endothermic, you can kind of imagine it being like, you know, that's all fat of the Spinoceratops and you're just looking at that which it just looks so cool like and I love them all just walking together like the herding mechanic seems to be fixed really recently well because these guys are just going around with each other you get one or two laggers sometimes but they're all like still hanging around I like that and before we move on to the next species and such we're gonna check out him with two other species because Apparently, we should be able to see them have social animations, not just with each other, but if we go, I think this one, yes, we need a Stegosaurus. Oh, wait a sec. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I did the wrong Ceratops. Now then, let's see if the Spinosaurus has better luck at socializing with the Spinoceratops than the more calm Sinoceratops. Let's see. He's like, I'm annoyed already. Let's see, is he gonna... Is he gonna kill them? He's already making his presence known. Last time these two species met, it kind of didn't end well. He nearly got both of the babies. Oh, okay, we've got something going on. Hold on, let's get into capture mode. Oh. Default, default, default. Okay, so looks like they're going to fight instead, which at least is better than that Sino was doing. Now, I don't remember. I think this guy's base. So let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. He got... Obliterated. Will we see a death animation? Oh, no. Okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. You, they, they could have given him some sort of animation, but I guess not. Then he just goes for a nap. He's like, I've done my work. I've killed him. Let's have a nap, guys. And he joins him. He's like, nice work, buddy. He's just like, ugh, I just got here. I don't even know what's going on. And he's like, I want fish. R.I.P. The Spino I used to know. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know why I always go for that when I go R.I.P., but I guess that's the theme, I guess. I have no idea what's wrong. So while there were a few things that I probably missed for animations, including the group animation for the feeder and such, I'm just going to give my thoughts on the species as we move on from one to the other. As for Spinoceratops, I will say it is a fine addition. It is one of the last species that is canon that we have yet to had in the game so far, but finally we got it. And it was a genuine surprise considering that only a few months ago, Frontier was saying they were finding it difficult to find a way to get the Spinoceratops and another species into the game. But, as they found a way in a honestly controversial way, I will say that I am happy that it is in the game. For my disappointment, however, it is unfortunately much higher than I expected, as unfortunately this Ceratops scene does not really stand out in terms of uniqueness. Its animations with... Sinoceratops are not really unique. Its animations with carnivores and herbivores are 
pretty much the basic Ceratopsian, which we'll discuss with the Stegoceratops as well. But I think the skin options are very well done. The bioluminescent skin is absolutely amazing and gorgeous. And I think that with time, people will grow with it. And I think I'll grow to like it even more, especially since it is a canon creature. So that already wins at some major points for me. I think it's probably going to be, for me, the second best in the pack, but I think that it can do with much improvement, and we'll probably discuss that in other entries as well. But now, we gotta move on to the next one. And we're going to move on to the next one, which is the Titanic in proportions to the rest, the Ankylodocus. Oh, 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 oh you look so cute! Oh, thank God they changed the model because, oh, that first one was nightmare fuel, but this guy is so cute! Got more of an ankle. Oh, it even sounds cute. As I was about to say, is that he's got more of an Ankylosaurus-like head instead of, you know, the uh, weird, terrified 70s anime dragon look of horror. Oh, uh, they're still coming out, technically. Well, yeah. God, these guys are slow. Too many Christmas, these guys are slow. How long is this gonna take? They're oh, just as I said. I've gotta hand it to him. Dr. Wu certainly knew what he was doing when it came to creating these hybrids. Take this Ankyloticus. Not only has it got a long, slender, whip like tail, but check out the bulbous club at the end of it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go giving it a reason to take a swing at you, okay? Okay, so the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm like, it's not just the head. This is a complete... Oh, the social animation. Let's see. What's it going to be? Hold on. Hold on. Let's get in capture mode. I'll finish my sentence after, but let's see. Oh, what are they going to do? Going to give each other the nuzzles? Maybe hit the clubs? All right. We got the little, all oh, little nuzzles and anything with the clubs. I, I, have they even started yet? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, they hit the clubs off each other. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Why am I going full cow? Oh God, do not walk in back in there. Trust me, guys, it's way too tight in there. I don't know how you both fit in there. So. From the angle that I tried to get, because, well, I was kind of blocked by a hatchery, it seems that they, like, looked at each other, gave a little bit of a call, and the clubs just, like, whacked against each other, and it was all cute and happy, and a little moo at the end. So hopefully they'll eventually head out, and then we can check them out over there, but while we wait, because, hold on, let's just speed it up so they can get out of the way. Let's release the next ones, which... Ooh, a different camera angle this time. Ooh, very T-Rex-like, you know, just starting with the leg and then coming up. Hello. Okay, nice new camera angle, but I'm going to speed this up because, you know, they, they clearly like to take their time. Ooh, it looks like they're both very different, actually. Ooh. And these are the Lux ones, which in just a moment I'll change it to nighttime, and we'll take a look at them. All right, let's go into settings, environment, night, and let's see. Oh, oh my God! They look like freaking Godzilla going full thermonuclear, except um. Well, not really thermonuclear, but more atomic nuke, atomic pulse, actually. Just like in the recent trailers for Godzilla X Kong. Oh, there we go. We're getting the animation again. Hold on. Let's see. We can see it from above. Ooh, the spikes. 
That's all you got to say for them. But we need to test them out with their um, species, which hopefully I got the right ones this time. Oh, there we go. Finally. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe it's some. Now, is it the same as the others or is it a little bit different? Okay, so let's see. Oh, wait. They're still getting it lined up. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Oh, wow. Diplodocus is way taller. Okay, so it's a little bit of a head rub. Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh! Aw, oh, and they walk off into the night. Da -da -da. Don't you turn away! Don't you turn away! No, they broke off! They broke off on the camera! It's not right! You're supposed to do that relationship drama off camera. Oh god! I saw the inside of you! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's the terrain or something in here. I don't know. I put them in there for two seconds and they're just like, ooh, we just... Okay, I'm pretty sure T-Rex has a competition for who's interrupting me the most. Alright guys, and now let's try with the beast. What will happen? Will he kill them? Or will they fight back and say, Nuh-uh, I want to live, and I'm going to smack you with the club? Ooh, we got... Oh, it's right. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not happy at all. Okay. <laughs> I just say, oh, it's right. And he's like, yeah, and I'm going to kill everything. That doesn't bode well at all. They're all like, oh, my God, why did we get put in? Why is this thing in here? Oh, 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 okay. A hunt has begun. Let's see what it means. Okay, I don't know which one he's trying to go for. It might be this one. Okay. Okay, does it swing back? Uh. Help. Oh my god, it obliterated him. And, uh, oh, oh god, oh dear. Uh, okay. My spider sense was right. Now with Ankylodocus, guys, I gotta say this one is a genuine surprise for me, but also a unsurprising disappointment at the same time. I am genuinely surprised when I saw it that it was a completely different model. The fact that it's not even just the head that was, which was the major disappointment in the original, but the fact that they even changed little details like the length of the tail to make it slightly more realistic to have a club like that. The armor on the back is much more um, pronounced and more ankylosaurid than just spiky crazy. And the colors on this one are awesome, especially for a sauropod. And the bioluminescence is possibly one of the best with it, as I said, it looking just like Godzilla and such, which just is going to be awesome bonus points. And bonus points for me if I put in some Godzilla music and maybe a roar when I showcase that in the video but absolutely awesome choice but unfortunately like other sauropods it does not um defend itself which is the major disappointment with this guy it was a huge disappointment in the first game and i think it's an even bigger one in this one because this dlc is already controversial and the fact that something as simple as that was not added is really unfortunate but i think that Despite that, it is a strong sauropod. It's definitely going to be one of my favorite sauropods now that it has the new design. Its calls are awesome. Its animations are simple, but I do like its social animations with the Diplodocus and the Ankylosaurus, now that I've actually seen both of them. But hopefully we can see improvement in the future with future updates. After all, Gigantoraptor was fixed majorly in the last update, who's to say we can't get a small update like that for this guy? Alright, now we're over here and we're gonna go on to probably the least popular for many, but maybe not the most disappointing, the Stegoceratops. 
Ooh, he's got a display on. He's like, here I am. Well, that is a nice pose actually coming out of the hatchery. I like it. That's gotta be a, that's gonna definitely put him up in one of my favorites. The Stegoceratops is a hybrid that was engineered to wow the masses. It has everything. The horns, the frill, the plates, the spikes. This is a creation straight oh. from the brilliant mind and laboratory of Dr. Henry Wu. Let's see, which one's this guy socializing with? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can see it better on this side. Okay, so let's see. No, oh, he's got his leg! <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this one into capture mode. Capture mode, capture mode. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, he looks so sad. Look, I understand you, you don't... You've under, I understand the disappointment you feel in our disappointment with your look. But it's okay. You're fine the way you are. We would have liked to see the concept art version that is actually canon be brought to life. But sadly, that was not the case. But you can be so... Oh, cute Easter! Oh, oh, that's dangerous as well. He's like, hey, no tripping me! He's like, I'll do what I wanna. So that's just... That is adorable, actually. Like, he just, like, tries to be like, Alright, I wanna inspect this leg. He's like, no, that's my leg. We're gonna release the next group. Ooh, we're getting a frontal. Ooh, let's see that display on front. Ooh, charge. He's like, I'm here, boys and girls. Ooh, ooh, we got a nice blue one on the side, too. There we go. That looks nice. And we're going to open those gates, let them out as well. And then we're going to change it to nighttime. And... Boom. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I see what you're offering. Hold on, let's see the social animation, you know. Let's see it without the, with the, no light. He's like, stop it, that's my foot. He's like, oh, I like it. It's like, get your own. It's like, but I have my own. But I want more. Oh, hi, hi, oh God, we're inside of him. Help. Oh, and we're coming out the digestive tract. Okay, that's good. <laughs> He's like, okay, not gonna lie, I love the green, actually. I was worried about it a little bit, but, you know, it looks really nice. Very sharp on this guy, and I like how it's very spread out and such. It's not, like, really boring and such. It's on the plates, it's on the body, it's on the frill. It's even on the legs, as you can see there, like, right there. Yeah, I like this one. I like... So far, they're all really good. Ooh, that per- Hey, hey, gay- Oh, what the- Okay, fine. Okay, so... I'm liking this purple. I'm liking the- Okay, they're all just gonna sit around here. Cool, cool. And what we'll do with you guys, actually, is let's grab some carnivores. Let's uh, grab a Allosaurus, maybe? Let's say... Yeah, let's grab an Allosaurus. I want an Allo. Okay, everybody, come on. Come on, guys, let's go. Close the gate behind you. Oh, God, Allosaurus is in here. I think he's already maybe sizing someone up. Oh, he's nasty. Oh, I think we got... Yep, we got a sizing up here, guys. Let's get him into capture mode. He's like, I'm over here, genius. Alright, okay, ooh, a nest. Oh, he's using the force. He's got the high ground and he's using the force, guys. And he landed the first hit. Not too bloody from the looks of it, but... Okay, so pretty much the same rig as the Triceratops. Will he swing with the tail, though? Ooh, ooh. Okay, Aloe is... It looks like there's nothing too unique about him. He's like, what are you talking about? I am as unique as the rest of them. Oh, this time we got a snowy one. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. 
We got the drunk sailor again. Hold on, let's get him fixed. There we go. Duh, what you gonna do with the drunken sailor? We're not gonna let him be in charge of our capture mode. Alright, let's see. Is it gonna be unique, or is it just gonna be like a boring old... Ooh, okay, that's... Oh, there's the battle at Big Rock Adult Call. Oh, oh. Okay. Not exactly unique. But I'll appreciate you giving me the adult roar for once. That's something I will appreciate. This wasn't a total loss. But also it was for um, Stegoceratops because... Oh god, he's like... What did I do to deserve this? I just got here! <laughs> And they're just like, you were born to die. God, you guys are supposed to be softies, but you're sadistic. <laughs> and he's just snapping over here. He's like, uh, what I miss, guys? There's something about Adult Roar and I don't know. And he's like, yeah, oh god, we're being blocked. We're being blocked. I can't see. I'm seeing nuclear. Oh, there we go. He's just like, you missed me dying! Dead dinosaur. No! Really? I couldn't tell. Ooh, okay, where to begin with the Stegoceratops? Like, I mean, this guy is kind of the biggest letdown, but it's not a surprising one, to be honest. The fact that we already have Spinoceratops is already a negative for this guy because it makes him much less unique. The fact that he's got the same like basic design from the first game and not the canon design from the concept art or from Wu's lab, and especially considering that in their on their website, Frontier literally state how this was one that was canon from Dr. Wu's labs. It is kind of a little annoying for that, but I will say it does win in the factor of skins. Unfortunately, that's probably its only win. The Bioluminescent is probably one of the lower, even though I do like the green. I just think that the others are a little bit more pronounced and more unique. Maybe it'll grow on me, but I don't think um, Stegoceratops really had a chance with its basicness. And especially considering that it has literally no unique animations, really. Its social animation with Triceratops is the same as Triceratops or any like Triceratops with any other Ceratopsian. The fact that it just doesn't have any unique animations with carnivores, like not even one that I've seen so far, is a big letdown. I wish I could say more positives for this guy, but unfortunately Stegoceratops just isn't cutting it for me in this one. I'm sorry to say, but I hope that People who do love it are happy with it, and hopefully we can see improvements in the future, as I've said with the other two. Alrighty folks, we have one more of the new DLC hybrids to look at before we look at some old friends. Well, they're all old friends except first. Spinoceratops, but here is the Spino Raptor. Ooh, we got a fast pace. Ooh, ho 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 ho. Okay, Papa likes. Papa likes what he sees. You know, I just real. You know, as someone who never. S oh wait, hold on. Socializing, socializing. Let's get this on capture mode, dear lassie. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, you didn't miss your dishes. Oh, you go good. He's like, I've been left out. I hate them already. First of all, as I was saying before the animations came out, oh, that is a nice color. That is nice! Uh, as someone who didn't get the Secrets of Dr. Wu DLC, there, there was a few reasons why I never got it, or I never had an interest in it, really. Like, like I'm a fan of hybrids. I'm actually a huge hybrid fan, really. I love the concept of them. I love the hybrids we've had in canon, for the most part. And I really... 
liked, like, I loved this guy, but I don't know what it was that made me not want to get it. Maybe it was the fact that, like, for all it had, it really didn't have anything interesting. Like, I think the only thing that interested me really in that DLC was the camouflage, but it wasn't enough to spend, like, 20 plus bucks on it. So I never got it, but as someone who, like, as someone who never got it for the first game, these hybrids, it's so surreal just seeing them here. It's like, I'm reacquainted with an old friend, but I never had the old friend. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is. I, I don't think that explains it well at all, but... I, I, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, we got a little bit of an argument happening. Ooh. Okay, so, well, we might not have to look at it too much for large carnivores. I will check it out with them a lot, because I think with the Spine Raptor, there's always one creature that's like, he's like, oh my god, guys, they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. I may not have had them in the game, but I knew that roar. That was one of the best roars for a hybrid and such. <laughs> Oh, it's so fierce, and it's so unique. Oh, oh, they're trying to get their tails. Oh my god, how can they, why do they give the most ferocious things in this game the cutest animation? Yes, they still jump up. Ooh, a nice snap. Oi, guys, get over here. We need to see you all do it. Oh, I love this guy's... This guy's got a really good skin. It's very similar to... The pattern and such is very similar to the first game, but it's a lot more pronounced here. Oh, he missed him. Ooh, he's got the nice little rattle of a Spinosaurus, but in a nice raptor cat-like way. I love it. I love how they balance the calls in him. That's really good. But... We do have a bioluminescent group, so let's get them out. Ooh, a different camera angle. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this one's giving me some tiger um, feeling. I like it. I like it a lot. And then night it up. Ooh. Oh, a nice aerial view of it. Nice. You know, it's kind of on the more reddish pink in some angles. Like, it's definitely pink strong. It's definitely pink. But, like, this one has, like, a darker pink, a more reddish pink, you know. Like, on the tip, it's clearly, like, pink pink. But then down here, especially, like, when you zoom out, it's got a nice red... Oh, look at the fa Hold on, let me pause that. Oh, this guy's in a good spot. Look at that face. Face. It's like stars. That is so nice. <laughs> and the tip of the tail being like all glowy. Like, it's unrealistic, I'm pretty sure, to see something like this. I mean, okay, I'll admit, pink isn't usually scary, but since Godzilla's been proving me wrong lately, and many others wrong, but this guy's doing a good job as well. Like, you see that face coming at you, you, you might have a quick pause of like, why is he pink? But also you're going to be like, uh, those teeth are bad, those claws are worse, and those claws are hell! But also, it's a good thing he takes good care of them, so we should be happy that he keeps his health in order. Okay, they all came to watch him eat. They're like, watch our brother eat. Eat the flesh of the fish. Well done, brother. He's one of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> I am. I'm too tired to care anymore. Oh my God! It gives chills to the bone. I love it. But since we're not seeing them eat the fish together, let's try and see how a Spinosaurus interacts. This one, well, with the Spinoceratops, it understandably didn't go too well, but maybe these guys will work. That Maybe he'll, they'll see the father they always needed. They'll see the Qui-Gon in him and they'll be his Anakin. Or he'll just be a, 
a whole misunderstanding gone terribly, terribly wrong. Oh, they see, they see the father coming. That doesn't sound right at all. I just, oh my god. I'm too tired. I gotta cut that out, but I so don't want to at the same time. But, oh my god, what the... <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute! He's just trying to reach his tail! Ah, uh, and then the unhappy father arrives. Let's see how long it takes for- Oh, wait! Someone's already running. Is that panic running? Oh, they're- they're all running. Wait, wait, are they hunting him? Oh, we got- They're all panicking except for this one- Oh, boy. Ooh, okay, looks like the Spinal Raptor and Spinosaurus don't get along unless you turn off the combat. Okay, we got a slash, a slash, and... Okay, a little chomp. It looks like it'll be a little quiet square off. Oh, no, no, they're still going. Okay, they're breaking off. And we have one little thing to do before we go on to the final uh, in the air. creatures. Asset we need to just let these guys out and just see how they do. Oh god, they didn't waste time. <laughs> They're all like, we're free. Free to kill them all. Do, do, do. The boys are out, the boys are out, and we're gonna eat you all for breakfast and lunch and dinner and maybe even for dessert. Though I hear the specials on tonight. Oh yeah, there's two <laughs> They're all like, <laughs> run. <laughs> Let's hope they don't turn over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, please don't see us, please don't see us, oh my god. They're just like, oh, we just need a little nap, it's, it's been a long day. Eat the beep. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, we got someone in, he's found his way in here, oh god. Oh, we just caught him at the best time. Can we get a thumbnail? Oh, he's like, oh, it's been a long day. Oh my god, what the, f oh my god, we have... We have the th fourth. Oh my god! Never mind. The more I look, we have faces of horror. We have the Satan number one, who's like grinning that he's finally going to get out of this body. Satan number two, who's basically like all hell is about to break loose, and then Satan's older cousin, who just like broke his jaw and didn't get any part of his skull fixed, and is like, oh my. God, that's nightmares. You got just regular panicked. And then the biggest fear, you've got the guy who's trying to break the fourth wall. And then there's little cutie. Now, let's uh, get a screenshot of this hor house of horrors. There we go. And now, let's see how this goes. <laughs> He's gonna turn around and... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, let's pause, we can get a better shot at this, okay, so, oh god, that's just a, wee, oh god, he just, he just looks like, oh my god, I'm gonna get out of here, this place stinks, okay, so we didn't get a clear shot about that, but let's try slow-mo, oh god, we can't, oh my gosh sakes, I ran into a bush, I can't see anything. Okay, so... Okay, he's... Oh, for gosh sakes. Oh, for gosh sakes! Why are we in the bush? Oh, wait, 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 We can get a clear shot, folks! Let's take a look. And this one will just, uh... Go nice. And slow. Okay, so... Grabs the leg. Shakes him about... As he screams. Hey, hey, no kicking him in the face. Rude. Throw him around, show him his boss. And, oh, slams him to the ground. Chucks him. 
Oh, hold on. Oh, that's a thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. One person in the background. One person dead. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, oh my god, what did I do to deserve this? Oh, we got a peekaboo! Peekaboo! The attack is not coming from this guy. But from that guy. Ooh, can we change it to night? Is this one of the night ones? Dang it! That one's one of the night ones. Let me guess. Am I... Oh, nope. Alright, let's see this at night time. Ooh, we'll have to wait until we get a bi bioluminescent and then we'll have to end this. Ugh! Oh, he went full splat before he was even caught! Lame. But this is a good animation. This is... Yeah, they clearly are not disappointing with this guy. There's probably something with the Spinosaurus, or maybe some others. Ooh, I should check it with them um, some medium carnivores as well. Okay, that sounds creepy. As someone who didn't have the Secrets of Dr. Wu DLC from the first game, I will say it is strange how I've had a nice nostalgia feeling for the Spinal Raptor, which I think is the only hybrid that I was actually genuinely excited for, as it's got cool a cool design, it's got unique calls, and for the most part it is more unique than the others, and it makes itself fit with the other carnivorous hybrids as well without blending in with them too much, which is one thing you want to see with hybrids. You never want to see one of the same, which so far we haven't really had that problem with, and Spinoraptor was not being the exception, which is a good thing. I will say though, there are some amazing animations. I already showed the human animation, but I forgot to show it against meeting carnivores, which it is absolutely insane how it goes on that one. But I will say it is not as unique as I was hoping for. Yes, it has the most adorable animations, it has some feisty animations, and its animations with the Velociraptor are really cool, but I think it could have been a little bit better, definitely. And I wish I could say um, a lot more for it, but I think for skins, absolute win. The Bioluminescence, probably one of the best. And for the animations that we did get, they are pretty good, but a lot of them are recycled, which does affect other dinosaurs in a way. But I think that the Spinoraptor is easily the best in the DLC pack, which isn't the fact that it's a carnivore, but it is the fact that they made it a lot more unique, which I guess is the case for it being a carnivore, because they always go crazy with the carnivores, it seems. Which is also a downside, which I probably want to discuss with in another video, but I think all in all, the Spinoraptor is a win, and I think is definitely a strong contender for there being a reason why many fans should get this DLC. But we have one more sequence of the puzzle to go through. We have two species left to look at. We have the Indominus Rex, and the Endoraptor. But you may be wondering why. Well, that's because... They've got the Bioluminescent Gene too, And... Oh. My. God. That is awesome. I think that might be the best one so far. Maybe Spinoceratops. I don't know. I might have to do a ranking video of all the bioluminescence in the game so far because. <laughs> That's awesome! Look at her! She's insane! Like, that is like. Pure atomic white with a faint blue. That is awesome. Now let's get rid of that. And let's get you out. Oh, no, that's the wrong building. Let's open the gate. I know, we're opening the gate this time. We're crazy. Let's take a look at the Indoraptor. Ooh. 
Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. And I gotta say, it's not bad. I was worried about it when I saw it. The color's not the best choice, I would think. But I will say, I like the choice of the quills glowing, and I really like the idea of its little crests as well. Oh, and he even appreciates the compliments. And I was, of course, expecting the stripe. There's no way they wouldn't do the stripe as the bioluminescent core for this. But it is not bad as well. I do wish that it was a red, though. Like, or even, like, a gold... Like, a yellow or red would be insane. This pink is a little bit off-putting. The quills have a nice reddish tone to them, and certain angles provide red, but... It is m mostly a vivid pink as well. But let's see- Ooh! He's just waiting- She's just waiting for him! <laughs> as soon as Indoraptor gets in, it's done for or something- Or the other way around. Oh yeah, they can sense each other already. He knew. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we don't even have a drunk- Oh, look at him! She looks insane! She's insane! I love her! She's awesome! Wrong one. There we go. Screenshot her. And from the gates... Now, she'll give her a roar as the Indominus... Look at the Indominus just waiting. Now, let's get you... Oh! That is awesome. But who will win? I don't know. I think these guys are both basic for, like, Geno, so it's gonna be close. Okay, Indominus is stronger, so they're probably on basic for sure. Oh, but they look so good. Like, I didn't think it would work for these two, but no, it really does. Like, they really should implement more bioluminescence. Like, they should just do a big update and say, Okay, you want it? Here it is for everybody. And we now have reached the final chapter of this video. I think that these hybrids will be a great inspiration for many of your future park builds, as well as my own. But I want to hear what you guys think. Are you on the side that thinks that, that this is a great addition and you're glad that we got it? Or are you on the side that feels like this isn't the DLC you wanted or that should have been? Or if you feel that you have a different opinion than either of those about this hybrid pack, then I'd love to hear them in the comments below. I love talking with you guys, and I want to thank you so much for watching, folks. Maybe liking, subscribing, stay safe everyone, and remember that you are all amazing, never forget that, and hopefully I'll see you in the next time. But until then, enjoy yourself.